Okay. Well, I, I think we have sorted everybody out now. I can't really see that anybody is now a threat. It's only one out of 60 there. They're peasantry anyway, so I'm not too worried about those. What else are you going to do? Come on, you're supposed to throw everything in now, lads. This is what your general's told you to attack this point. Well, that's what you ought to be doing. Nothing happening there. You see how I can get these away? We've got all that cavalry to protect him. What's he got here? He's got some infantry there. Let's go and have a look at those. It looked a bit infantry unitish, didn't it? Yes, it is. These are reserves coming on, seek warriors. Is he going to try and throw those in at the last minute? We'll have to see. In fact, they look to be standing, so I think he's already decided that he's not going to get them into the battle in time. So, and there we go, and that's the end of the battle. So, I'm just going to end battle on that one there because I can't chase him off. He's got too much um, cavalry and artillery out there. Heroic victory. Right, okay, um, you can see the victory results. Um, he lost 1312, I lost 244. Uh, pretty darn good, very, very pleased with that. Down to seven with this one there. We'll have to pay to replenish those, I presume. It comes out of the general pot, I think. Okay, so that's the uh, that's that one defeated. Don't forget, we're still on the turn end, so anything could still happen. We're on the way over to um, the summer of 1740, of course. All right, we've got some uh, odd single units coming down. I will have to remember, of course, these um, fleets that have been um, popped out of their ports, ports that I damaged. If you remember, I went into the ports several times, so I damaged them rather badly. It's going to cost him a lot of money to repair those ports. Um, I have shown you what state his towns are in as well, so they are struggling. They're really on the brink, so he is struggling to keep these large armies. So I might find now he's in a position where he does actually want to throw his armies away at my walls. That's a situation that I'm very pleased about because um, I could do with um, you know, I could do with getting a numerical advantage over him in India. If I can do that, then I'll push up. I'll take another couple of territories. Goa is so poor, though, and it's one of my objectives. I really just don't want Goa. So I'm going to have to take it, I'm afraid, and then I'm going to have to hold it. And it's a place that doesn't generate much wealth. Um, it's going to cost me a lot of money to hold it for a period of time. That's really why I asked for a couple of... Um, ah, he seems to be um, coming down the side there as well, doesn't he? Hmm. Distinct advantage again, as you can see, down here. I've got men uh, in fairly decent condition. We're not in a brilliant condition on this side, are we, really? But, um, anyway, we'll see how we go. We've got this one coming on. I must remember this one. Now, I must remember as a reinforcement to withdraw him immediately. So he can't come on. Now, this, I don't understand, really. These here, mortars. Normally, when you attack somebody and you've got an immovable artillery piece, it won't come onto the battlefield. So I don't quite know how he's managing to get a mortar into the battle. But anyhow, moan and complain. Let's just get on with it, hey? Right, he seemed to have a fair amount of cavalry there, so it would be nice to have some chevaux de free. Okay, here we are in the second battle. This is the battle for Carnatica. Apologies again, because it's such an appalling state that this is in. I might be able to just form a couple of squares here, because he might go through those two in square. Right, I'll just rush those down, just in case. Now, I don't want those firing at that cavalry in the foreground, because they might hit my own infantry. So I'll fire those at the back, camel gunners or whatever they are. Right, okay, so I'm hoping that will sort out his cavalry coming through. These at the back as well, of course, being able to fire at anything that gets through, we should be okay. If he throws all his cavalry in first, that will be e absolutely excellent for us. And of course he is doing. He's flinging his cavalry at the squares. Now that's great news. We can fire at him from both the flanks as well. I hope they can reach. Yes, they can. Everybody can reach. They're all firing. We should make a, a real mess of those cavalry there. So let's see what's coming up behind. Should have infantry coming up behind somewhere. Still camel gunners. He's got a fair amount of infantry coming in as well. Right, okay. Remember, he's only got 20 minutes. He's only used, well, about a minute and a half of it. So, he is moving fairly quickly. He's driving everything in as quickly as he can. Right. 
Notice I wasn't even checking there to see how we were doing inside. I'll just have a quick look around the back. Absolutely nothing. In fact, you'd see them anyway because they'd be red. If on this bottom map down here, you'd see them down here. So really no worries at all at the moment. There's been nothing to challenge me. I didn't even really need to be in square at all. We could have taken them out without even being in square. These are the camel gunners coming through. Now they're going to fire at me, obviously because they can fire as well. Would have been nice to have had somebody on the walls about now. Oh, in fact... Burger Infantry looks a damn good target, doesn't he, for my, uh, my howitzers. These are the first infantry that will be coming through, so they're the only ones I really need to worry about. If worry is the right word, I'm really not worried about anybody at all here. Okay. Come on, one good shot from that howitzer. That would be really nice against them. He's not going to give it to me, is he? Nope, I'm afraid not. Well, he's going through the gap now, so that means I want to be out of my square formation. Oh, just pull it back a bit here. I really need to be out of my square formation now. It's good news that I'm reforming now as well, of course, because it means that uh, I won't be firing. 97 out of 103, 111 out of 115. So we're doing pretty well still. I don't think I need to reinforce those. What are these doing here? They've got a funny angle, haven't they, really, there? I could have probably done with improving that angle a little. Anyhow. Just a bit of insurance if anything comes this way, I suppose. Right, well, something might have got hit there, because I saw the howitzers go off. No. Really, what it might have been good to do would be just to target that point there. So anything going through gets hit. In fact, that might still be a good idea. Yeah. What I'm going to do is just target this area here where he's going through instead of actually targeting a unit so that they don't shoot at the unit when it comes through as well. There we go. First fire in there. Fire from these as well. Fire coming in from the left and from the right. Remember I didn't put anybody in the buildings because I knew his artillery would take them out quick look down at the bottom map down there, I can see there's nothing behind me causing any problems. It does seem to be the main thrust of his attack here. He's not happy, and he's wavering. Okay, so they're running in. I'm going to try and stop pointing at the troops as they come in, actually, because um, it puts a big marker on, on front, doesn't it? And it seems a bit unfair. It obscures it a bit and spoils the look of the battle. Okay, let's have a look at what my chaps are doing here. Here we go. Come on, lads, you can do it. Right, looks like they've caught us before we've had a chance now to reload again. So we're going to put those into uh, melee attack. Looks like these chaps are going to get it as well. It would have been nice to get another shot in. I'm going to put those on melee and um, fire attack so that they can do a bit of both. So the ones that can should reload as well. We might get a bit of an arc of fire out of those to help with the general melee. Oh, I've got one lot of the enemy routing now already, which is good, great stuff. How are we doing? 103 out of 115. It's looking good. Over here, it's now starting to look like almost a full-on attack. So I'm going to stop those from loading, I think, and get them on melee attack only. They don't seem to be doing very much there, do they? Okay, we put them on melee attack only. Well, they barely seem to be engaged at all, do they? It's only this little bit here. They've got any engagement at all? I think we're going to put them back on fire. So I think they'll be more effective firing, really. Come on, lads, fire! No, they don't want to fire, do they? Because they're uh, involved in a melee. That's fair enough. Okay, now these have been bearing the brunt of all of this, so we do need to check these. 90 out of 103, so they're still doing okay. I don't think I've got any worries about them at all, really. What have we got here? Pindari Horsemen. Uh, 21 out of 45. 